Hey, it's Joe at Purposely Pixel. Whenever Samsung come out with a new flagship device, there's a lot of hype, especially with their cameras, and rightly so because they are fantastic. But how does it compare against the Pixel 6 Pro? Watch this video and find out. So taking a look at this first image off the main lenses, I much prefer the pixel image on the left because of the more natural colours, but this is just personal preference. They're both beautiful images with a nice bokeh because of the nice big sensors. The second image is off the telephotos, four times telephoto on the Pixel 6 Pro and three times telephoto on the Samsung. Again, I much prefer the Pixel. On this main lens shot, I'd say I prefer the Pixel shot overall, but I do kind of like the contrasty look of the Samsung shot. However, there is more halo effect in the tree in the center from the bright sun behind. On this main lens shot, if you look at the bush in the foreground, again, the pixel shows better in the shadow areas and the Samsung has crushed shadow areas. Some people may like this contrasty look, but my personal preference is the pixel here. I also prefer the more natural colors with the blue sky. One thing I will say for the Samsung though is I prefer the lens flare compared to the pixel lens flare. Again, there's another shot where there's not much between them, but again, I prefer the pixel shot. The natural colours, for example, the red car, just more appealing for me, but that's personal preference again. On the image, image it doesn't look like there's much between them, but then when you look closely at the bridge at the top, there's a lot more noise on the Samsung shot. And I would say the blue is slightly nicer on the pixel sky, but that's just me being super picky. With this shot, the Pixel has come out with a brighter image, but I do kind of like the drama of the fog on the Samsung shot on this one. This next shot of the main lens is a clear winner for me and it's all down to white balance, and that's the Pixel 6 Pro. I really don't like the yellowy tone that the Samsung's given on this shot, but again this is personal preference. At first I was surprised by the results of this one, because it's a 10x optical zoom on the Samsung, whereas digital zoom on the Pixel. But then Chad told me that night mode wasn't used. Now the Pixel Telephoto has a larger sensor and more megapixels, so it's come out of a clearer shot. Here's another 10x Telephoto shot, but this time with night mode. I would say the Pixel shot looks has more clarity in the books, being able to read the titles, but the Samsung shot's a lot cleaner. So for this one, I'd take the Samsung shot. On this 10x shot at the station, I'm kind of sitting on the fence. I don't think there's much between the two shots, to be honest. Both these images from the main lens are nice, but I side with the pixel slightly more. I'll tell you why. If you look at the sky, the HDR is better, with the Samsung blowing out the highlights a little more. On this 20x zoom shot of the tree, the Samsung wings are with the better clarity, but it just shows the pixel is no slouch. Another image off the main lenses, now they both come out very nice, but personal preference, I prefer the detail in the shadow areas on the pixel. If you look at the rock in the foreground, you can see more detail there, whereas the Samsung seems to crush the shadows. For me on this main lens shot, there's really not much between them, it's all about which colour science you prefer. On this 10x zoom shot of the house, I originally preferred the pixel shot on a smaller screen, but now I've blown it up on my TV, I can see that the pixel shot is a little bit more over sharpened to compensate for the digital zoom. So I'll say I'll prefer the Samsung shot, but there's not much between them. There's really not much between the devices on this sunset shot. I'd say I edge slightly towards the Samsung because on this occasion the saturation is quite nice. Another sunset shot where I prefer the Samsung. I quite like the contrasty, saturated look on this one. See, sometimes it works in its favour. On this sunset 10x shot, I'd say the Samsung wins because it's a little muted on the Pixel, but there's really not much between them. On this sunset 20x zoom shot, the Samsung wins again with better clarity. I do kind of like the colours in the Pixel shot though. This is the only ultra wide shot in this comparison. I much prefer the Samsung's ultra wide, being a true ultra wide fitting much more in the shot. This shot shows you the starting point for the optical zoom on both 4x for the Pixel and 3x for the Samsung. It's not a great deal of difference on this 10x shot, but I think I slightly prefer the Samsung shot with a little bit more clarity and I prefer the colouring, but it's quite close. At 20x, this is where the Samsung shines. It's the true zoom champion. I much prefer the colours on the Samsung, 
and there's more detail in the foreground tree and the clock tower main subject itself. Pixel is much more muted at this zoom level. Going back to the main lens again, I much prefer the pixel shot. The colours are more natural, especially with reds. Samsung often get reds wrong and they have done here. On this 10x shot, the Samsung is clearer, especially on the metal rope and the detail in the wheel, but I still prefer the red on the pixel. I like both shots here for different reasons. I do kind of like the contrasty look on the Samsung, but I do feel it's a little over sharpened. Here's another example of the starting point of optical zoom at 4x and 3x. It's great to have a telephoto to be able to frame your shot in a different way. On this 10x shot, I think the Samsung's come out slightly better. The trees in the background look nicer, more natural colours, and I'd say the plaque on the front is easier to read. On this 20x shot, despite the pixel doing well, you can see it's digital zoom, so the Samsung wins here. One thing I will say is this, the pixel was done better with the highlights on the top of the head though. So I think this shows that both camera systems are excellent. It's all about preference really, and what really suits your needs. I think the Pixel is a great point and shoot camera, has nicer processing in my opinion, producing more natural colours and the HDR is excellent. However, if you're the type of person who likes to edit your photos, with Samsung you have Expert RAW, which gives you better RAW files and more flexibility. You've also got the 108 megapixel mode on the main lens, which is excellent, more flexibility with the ultra wide, um, getting more in the shot, you've also got the 3x and 10x optical telephoto so it all depends what you need what you want but they're both excellent we haven't touched on everything in this video we could do night and low light photography let us know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing also let us know if you've got one of these devices what did you think of this comparison let us know in the comments thanks for listening i'm signing off joe from purposely pixel Thank you.